I understand that Mebian Kerno is going to contest the next round of police and crime commissioner elections in a few years' time. You didn't do that last time. What's prompted the change? I think we've been thinking about how best to put MK's message forward. So today we've made the decision to contest the police commissioner elections because we think that the, basically the police service in Cornwall is being failed. We want a police service for Cornwall and we want to get that message out. We've also made the decision that we're definitely going to be fighting the next general election. We're going to be targeting our resources, however, into one or a small number of seats in order to get as big a bang as we can from our activity. Uh, just staying with the police and crime commissioner elections for the moment, do you have a candidate in mind? No, today we've taken the principal decision and now we'll start the process of the members selecting a candidate to stand and then obviously also we'll think about raising the deposit in order to do that. Now I gather the last time those elections were contested your members spoilt their ballot paper and there were several thousand spoilt ballot papers last time. By standing this time isn't there a risk that you're going to split the anti-conservative vote by a further several thousand votes? I think it's important for us as a political party we very often done the the big generous thing of standing down for other people so that they could go forward on, if you like, similar principles. That's backfired repeatedly where people have failed to deliver on their promises. So it's very important for MK at this time to build its profile and we think this is a very important aspect of building our profile. Coming on to the general election, so you've already decided you're definitely going to fight one seat. Might that be the St Austell and Newquay constituency? Again, it's all to, it's the, uh, the St Austell and Newquay constituency are keen to fight at the next general election. How many we fight is going to be down to the views of the membership and the resources that we've got. But we're definitely contesting at least one seat, maybe more, but we will definitely be targeting our resources. And I would say it's unlikely that we'll be fighting, very unlikely that we'll be contesting all six. Now, the, uh, at this year's general election, MK was part of, I don't know if it was official or not, but certainly associated with this progressive alliance and one of the reasons for not fielding any candidates was so as to not split the anti-conservative vote. Will MK be taking part in any kind of progressive alliances with any other parties or groups next time? Well, let's be blunt, the reason we didn't stand principally was the fact that it came so suddenly in the middle of the local elections we had to focus on the local elections and then the practicalities of pulling together the funding and the resource for those later elections was nigh on impossible. Don't forget, by the time you would have had to make a decision to stand, it was probably already too late to get your leaflets printed and delivered to the post office to be delivered within their time frame. That's how ridiculous the snap election was for a small political party. We are quite willing, though, to talk to anyone about any form of progressive alliance to do what's best for Cornwall. Um, we will, however, be very strong on those that make promises that we know in the past they have failed to keep.